There's no food more tied to the American Chinese restaurant than the humble fortune cookie. A crispy, crunchy dessert with a little piece of advice hidden in the center. Funny thing though, did you know that fortune cookies aren't even originally Chinese? They're loosely based on a Japanese tradition. Japan had a history of always creating fortunes that were sold inside goods in uh, temples, public areas. And this custom was actually brought over from Japan uh, to the United States. There's still some debate about the specifics, but one thing is for sure, the fortune cookie was invented not in China or Japan, but in California. Today, many companies make the crescent-shaped cookie, but the Peking Noodle Company in Los Angeles is the largest and one of the oldest manufacturers in the U.S. My grandfather, Mr. Tong Ying Wu, started the company in 1914. He felt that there was a good need to have Chinese food for the many immigrants. Their product line eventually expanded to include fortune cookies for Chinese restaurants. But let's get to what you really want to know. How do they get those little slips of paper inside these things anyway? Well, just like with any other cookie, it begins with batter. The secret to fortune cookies is to use the right amount of oil and the right amount of flour to have the perfect shape, the perfect size, and the perfect crunch. So every ingredient is measured out carefully one by one. First soybean oil, then the vanilla and coloring. Oh, and don't forget the sugar, and plenty of it. Approximately 320 pounds of sugar are used per batch. All that sugar goes into a high-speed mixer, where it's joined by water and flour that gets pumped in from a silo. More than 500 pounds of it for each batch of cookie batter. Then the batter is transferred into tanks that will feed each of our machines. And here's where things really get interesting. First, the machine squirts out a row of six circles of dough. Then, top plates come down and cover the dough to keep it in a perfect circle as it enters the oven. They cook in that oven at about 140 degrees, but they don't stay in there for long, just 30 seconds. Each oven, it averages out 1.2 cookies per second, and that would make it about 2,000 cookies in total per minute. That adds up to about 133 million a year. And now, the star of the show, the fortune. The company has been writing, editing, and collecting them for decades. The cookie is scraped off the plate, where it will then transfer to a conveyor where the fortune is inserted into the cookie and then formed. That happens in a machine called a molding press. First, a tiny arm picks up the fortune using air pressure. Then, it places it in the middle of the circle of dough while two arms come down and fold the cookie into its famous crescent shape. And it all has to happen really fast. Even a deviation of a couple of seconds can mean that the cookie will harden before it enters the press and no shape will come out. That is cool. And it sure beats the old fashioned way of folding fortune cookies by hand. I had an uncle that was doing it. And he told me one day that he didn't have a fingerprint. They were essentially burned from all the heat. Ouch! Whew. Nowadays, these cookies get to cool down on a conveyor belt before anyone has to handle them. The cookies then make their way to an assembly line where a giant funnel controls the wrapping rate. The funnel releases each cookie individually one by one into the wrapping machine. Now they're ready to be boxed up and shipped off to restaurants where they'll play their starring role in the enduring Chinese-American end-of-meal ritual. There's nothing better than opening up a fortune cookie and then sharing what's inside with your friends.